Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your invasion teams for uh, the weekend, the weekend event, uh, invasions, killing some towers and everything. So let's get into it. It's super easy. I got this done in, within 15 minutes. I was watching a YouTube video as I did this. The YouTube video was like 13 minutes long. I was almost done. I started another one, and I was done within like 15 minutes with all my sigils. I'm in like third place. It's really super easy. All right, let's go. This is the first team. This will get you to like four towers. Um, I got two teams on here. One is a epic and under, or yeah, epic and under, and one is like utilizing everything if you have everything. So here's the one util utilizing everything. Remember to mix and match if you have all these troops, this team and the next team. Um, I'd use a uh, mountain crusher. Um, we got uh, King Mikhail, King Mikhail, and Urskula. Uh, I made myself Sentinel class. Uh, Mountain Crusher, because it's a low mana cost weapon that has a brown storm, and it, it blows up brown, it's going to get up the King Mikhail's faster. Um, you get it up really quick. You start it with 50% mana because the Urskula starts um, Urska with 50% mana. We made ourselves Urska by being a Sentinel class. So it starts with like 5 mana, and then the board blows up. We got Explode Potion, we got Enchant Potion. I bought up into that new weapon. Uh, the weapon that's like an axe and it explodes and uh, does a Urska um, summon and a positive status effect. We're going to use that one in the next team, so we'll talk about that more in a second. But um, yeah, so Mountain Crusher, because it's low rarity, uh, you get it easily. It has low mana cost. It starts with, it only needs like six mana to get up because we're starting with 50% mana cost. And um, then you get an explode and then a chant, and it pretty much gets up all the time, like almost right away. So you cast it, it gets up your King Mikhail. Your King Mikhail hits everything on the other team. It explodes a row, so it's going to help get everything else back up or itself back up. And then uh, you, you cast the second King Mikhail. Boom, you hit everything again. You explode a row. It's helping get everything else back up. Maybe you cast the Urskula. Um, early on, you're going to cast like one King Mikhail and, and blow everything away. Uh, as you get further in, you're going to cast two King Mikhails and blow everything away, even towers. And as you get further in, like three towers or so, you might have to cast the Urskula too. And um, eventually you're going to switch into a different team once you get to like four towers. But this one's really fast. Like I said, I got to, I used up all my sigils and within 15 minutes, and I'm done for the day. I'm, I might as well be done for the whole weekend. So these teams are super fast and uh, should get you through the event very easily. Uh, double brown, yellow, minus purple banner. We got Mountain Crusher, King Mikhail, King Mikhail, Urskula. Um, Urskula is a really good choice this week because uh, or for this event, this weekend, because it has that 50% start for Urska. And uh, a lot of things here are Urska, a lot of, at least the good stuff. I think the restriction is Urska, so yeah, Urskula is a really good choice. But it is a legendary, so here's the second team with no uh, Mythic, no legendary. Um, we got the uh, the Raid Troop, or the uh, Invasion Troop, my bad. Invasion Troop, the Tower Killer. We're doing towers, and whenever you're doing towers, you're going to have four towers eventually. Um, so this the Tower Killer is way more important than like the raid killer raid and invasion are super similar the only difference is like raids there's only one raid boss so the raid the boss killer isn't as important as like a tower killer tower killers are super important during a tower event an, an invasion because you're going to eventually get to four towers and they just crush towers so you might as well use three of them so we got Black Bjorn, we got three of him, and then we got the new axe. It's a green, uh, red. It um, blows up either a bunch of green or a bunch of brown or something like that. And um, and I put it at the bottom of the team because it can just soak up red. Um, I'm using Archer class this time because uh, we don't have Urskula on our team. But hey, if you have it, throw it on there, I would say. If, if I had Urskula, I, if I was going to do... This is the... Um, epic and under team right so i cannot use a legendary for this team for my own restriction but if you have an urskula you might want to throw it on the team instead of one of the uh, black bjorns there just throw urskula on the bottom of the team do like black bjorn black bjorn uh axe and then urskula and then your your two black bjorns will get up way faster than the ones i'm showing here and you can just cast them both twice you know cast the axe and then you'll get them both back up again after you kill two towers you know what i mean but with this one, I'm, I'm showing Epic and Under for people that uh, do not have Urskula or King Mikhail or whatever. You'll just buy up to the weapon in the shop. 
you will fully ascend and fully trait and all that good stuff. Your Black Bjorn, you'll throw three of them on there. And uh, throw the axe at the bottom that you got from the event. It's super duper easy. Uh, the Black Bjorn will get up. You'll kill a tower. You'll hope you'll look for skulls. Anytime you see any skulls, make sure you take them because the Black Bjorn does extra skull damage to the towers. Um, so you're casting three Black Bjorns, killing three towers, and then hopefully if you see a skull match uh, during all of that, you can kill the fourth tower. And if not, hey, you just cast that axe. And uh, okay, so it does um, brown gems. That's good. Explodes brown gems and grants a random status effect to Urska allies and summons an Urska troop. So if you lose a Black Bjorn somehow, then uh, you can summon back in another troop and protect the rest of your Black Bjorns. But yeah, the Black Bjorn does double skull damage to the towers. It does double spell damage to the towers or whatever. It like just kills them in one shot most of the time. It's super easy. I'm just I'm not even exaggerating. I got this all the way done within 15 minutes using these two teams so this is all you need um make sure you uh like share subscribe consider joining it helps a lot tell your get about the channel comment below and i'll see y'all tomorrow for the spoilers and i'll see y'all sunday morning for the uh live stream and then of course weekly preview back on monday so thank you very much for watching i really really appreciate it have a great day peace out <laughs>